So what really causes behavior change? How do we do that? Well, this is a theory, and this has been something that I've put together over all my research and that all of the team who's been working on this course has kind of come to, which is that only about 10% of behavior change rests on information. Now, this is super interesting because for the most part, People who work as change makers and organizations in particular that work as change makers spend about 90% of their time and energy and resources on distributing information, whether it's through pamphlets or books or videos or you know, fact sheets or talks. It's all about giving people information. And it's based on this thing called the information deficit model, which was a term that was coined in the 70s and 80s. And it means that people think that if somebody needs to change something, you just have to tell them the facts about it and then they will change it, right? So we just need to tell people that smoking is bad for them and causes lung cancer and that will stop them from smoking. Or we just need to tell people that what you're doing is polluting the environment and that's making our drinking water unsafe and that will change them. As we all know, it's not true that information changes people's minds. If that were the case, then all the things that we're all fighting for would already be changed. And yet, we still spend a lot of time loading people with information and facts and data. So then we think, well, I better motivate the person. That's what I need to do. It's not the information. I need to make them feel something about it. So I'm going to show them pictures of polluted rivers, and I'm going to show them black lungs that people have smoked, and this is what it looks like, and scare them or motivate them into doing something about it. I think the truth is that only another 10% of behavior change is motivation, because a lot of those methods that we use to motivate people don't actually motivate the decision or the action that we hope they will. They might make the person feel bad, they might get them to tell you they're going to do something about it, but it doesn't really cause the action or behavior. In fact, sometimes it pushes people back into an even more defended position. So if it's not information and it's not motivation, what is it that we're trying to do? And this is what this course is all about. What we think it is, is creating the conditions under which the person has a shift in perspective or a shift in worldview. And that leads to changes in thinking and behavior. So it's sort of a bottom-up approach that we're working for here. So just to summarize, as an agent of change, you may be engaging in activities that are counterproductive. You might be not doing some simple things that work better. And you may be paying more attention to what you're saying than how you're being when you're saying it. And this is what we really want to address.